Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to talk about something very interesting, and that is the fact that Roblox is actually updating the catalog. Now, as you can see on, on the screen, um, they're currently testing this new feature on the catalog where it has two very, very big featured items instead of the current one, which, you know, I still have, where it's five that are slightly bigger than everything else that's on the top row. They want to change that into two, as you can see here. And um, it, it's a very, very interesting change. And I, I wanted to take the opportunity to discuss, you know, not just this update, but also some other stuff in the catalog and my hopes from this. So um, as you can see, this is essentially what this is going to look like. Aside from the sales, I'm pretty sure it's an extension of some sort. But um, anyway, let's go back to the actual Roblox catalog, where if you take a look, um, I'm gonna have to go back over here. Uh, you can see it, it's really not that much of a difference. Like if you look at the top row, yeah, you're gonna notice these are a little bit bigger, but you don't really put as much attention as you would if you had the other one, which is gonna take a second to load. As you can see here, it, it really doesn't grab your attention as much as these do, where it's like, they're completely separate. They even have like these little drop shadow. Like there's just clearly a lot more um, detail to the boxes here and they're much, you know, more attention grabbing. So obviously the top two featured items, which would be, you know, this is sorted by relevance. If you don't know, if you just click all featured items, the page stays the exact same and it says it's sorted by relevance. And um, if you don't know what relevance is, um, I'm 90% sure that it has to go down to, you know, how frequently it's been selling lately compared to the past. I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. I'm not too sure about the specifics of the relevant sort. I don't think many people know if anyone knows for that matter. But uh, I, I do know that it has something to do with, you know, more sales than usual. And that's why a lot of new items tend to get very far up on this uh, featured page. And um, honestly, it's a very, very good idea. It grabs your attention. Um, so they're executing it pretty good. But uh, I saw some people, you know, commenting, you know, about, hey, you know, it's going to show off only art throw stuff because only art throw is featured, all this other stuff. And um, I genuinely feel like that's probably not going to be the case. I mean, right now, the top two items are, as you can see, brand new art throw items, or at least I'm assuming they're brand new because I haven't seen these in recent times. But Generally, I feel like after a while these will just go back into, you know, I mean if you look at the rest of the front page for example Everything here is not our throw. Actually, this is a package that is not our throw that's here, which is interesting and um, As you can see here on the next page, that's when you start seeing the Arthur. You only see three of them out of all of these items I genuinely feel like these are probably gonna fall off eventually So it's not like it's gonna be only our throw that little section. So um, I, I feel like you know, you don't really have to stress out too much about that. But when I said I wanted to take the opportunity of making a video about the catalog, I do want to mention how, you know, in the past few years, they really didn't touch a catalog aside from like, you know, the design update that they did forever ago. And when they did that, they actually broke the catalog. And to this day, after making numerous videos, I believe I made two videos specifically on this. One was pretty much the exact same as the original one that I made and the second one I know I made in like December or January the first one God knows how old that one is and of course it's the bug where if you go to page 35 the catalog completely crashes on you now the page has actually changed slightly when you get to page 35 um, before it would just say no items are available and it would just stay blank uh, but now it actually still has a scroll thing and if you click anywhere it just takes you back to one anyway but um I don't know. I, I just feel weird how they're kind of focusing on getting your attention on the front page rather than fixing all the technical stuff about the actual, you know, catalog that doesn't function. And I saw some other people bringing up, hey, you know, why can't we just you know, name our item blue, for example? Um, I got to go into clothing for that. Sorry. But why, like, why can we only just call our item blue and all you're going to get is blue, 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 blue. So like, I definitely see where they're coming from as well with this, where these items are spammed and sure the algorithm for, you know, searching items definitely needs to be fixed. I'm not going to, you know, defend this algorithm. It's pretty bad, but uh, I, I feel like it's very interesting why they're deciding, you know, uh, I don't know why they're deciding that, you know, making the catalog the first or the two most, you know, featured items i guess the two featured items up on the top making them more highlighted is more important than you know fixing the technical stuff on the actual catalog but uh i want to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time and goodbye